One thing that's always been kind of a, a real consistent process over the 10 years of making this work is there's always pretty much from the beginning been a bunch of different media, which I think is something that kind of makes me unique as an artist because there are, there are a lot of artists that maybe do one or two things, but I don't think there's quite as many people crazy enough to do like this many different things. One of the real consistent defining threads of the work is this idea of decoration, really celebrating it. I think particularly in American Western um, kind of context, decoration is kind of considered to be a lesser thing, especially in the art world. So if something is like a decorative art and it's just there for um, making things prettier and more beautiful. And I think that is definitely part of it, but I think it's also doing a lot of heavy lifting about kind of demarcating and making lines about social structure. So who's rich, who's poor, who's powerful, what building is a bank, what building is a jail, you know, you, you tell all that from what the building looks like and what's on it. So I think that idea of kind of fighting a little bit for the underdog of things. So in ceramics, all those objects get pulled together in the kiln, and then with the jewelry, I'm pulling together all these found objects in the, in the same way, but they're getting kind of put together and, and held together in a framework of, of metal. And then there's the orchid flower pieces, which are much more kind of um, thinking about uh, queerness and um, visual metaphors for what queerness, the experience of it. It's just they're, they're much more uh, complicated than we think. I'm taking porcelain objects that I'm finding in the world and then I'm putting them into new um, clay structures and then um, that all is refired together in the kiln so they're kind of uh, like Frankensteins. They have all these other pieces coming from other bodies that are getting made into new pieces. And then on top of that I'm taking um, silk flowers and, and fabric tassels and fringe and all those <laughs> decorative things and dipping those in slip and then putting them around the mixture of the clay and the, and the found ceramic objects. And then uh, that all fires together. And um, when that happens, everything that's not ceramic leaves. The fabric just vaporizes out. Uh, it gets up to 2,000 degrees in the kiln and they're technically slightly hollow. So it's like, it's almost like, I think it's like a backwards casting. There's the two self-portrait pillows, which are kind of me thinking about being a fat person. I was looking a lot at Gothic art, like from 1200 and 1300s, and they have all these um, reliquaries of where they'll, because <laughs> you had to have a, a piece of a saint to consecrate your church. So they were taking earthly body parts and then elevating to this like holy realm through decoration. <laughs> and I thought, I wonder if I could go through that process of my own body and help elevate my own body and value to myself. These two over here are the, are the kind of the oddball and that they're portraits of my parents. Thinking about like my own body and aging and all these things and then kind of like looking at the generation ahead of me and seeing them and, and their aging. Anyways, just kind of thinking about the body and, and, uh, and how they're kind of leaning together to support each other. And State of My Heart, which is coming from a Freddie Mercury song, um, really felt right because I think it just, the thing that I think was important for me about the show is this chance to like have this retrospective and kind of do a, um, do a look back and get this work that I haven't been able to see together, see what, it, what I think it was saying to me about where I am and where I'm going. I, th I think in any artwork, it's a balance between the head and the heart, usually. And I guess for me, very early on, I learned that the heart would be the winner. <laughs> the head is great and good for working through problems of the day. I think the heart is more important to reminding us of who we are as humans and connecting us to humans from other times.